Yo, what's poppin' YouTube fam? This is your boy J Money here, and I'm bringing you guys something nice. Uh, Alright, so, a few weeks ago, I made a community post, um, you know, asking about three different decks and which ones I should play with. The most popular vote, being the Prank Kids, went first, Nephi's Cosmos was next in line, not too far behind, and I worked on the next. Somehow, I completely forgot about the third option, and, you know, since it's been a few weeks, I'm going to go and give you a refresher what that is. That is Zombie Variants. Alright. Um, I, I chose to say Zombie Variants because there's so many different ways to play zombies now that uh, you could go with, like, there's so many options you could just go with. So I may work on different variants, but this is going to be the Vendor at Ritual variant, uh, variant, which is um, insanely strong. And pumps out really, really insane boards. Now, um, I'm going to show you how to play zombies properly, uh, just like I kind of do with Alter Guys, even though I had no idea how to play the deck. Um, just again, just learning from somebody else. But um, I did not figure all this stuff out on my own. Um, I got to give a shout out to Busted Be Busted and his channel for at least putting zombies on the map um, in Link Base. Uh, just in just link spamish based form. I gotta give him credit where credit is due. So if y'all would check out his channel, he's you know he's uh he's coming up in the game. You know he caught his big break with the uh, extra link zombies. You know with the opening a pre prep and a solitaire. We all remember that bad boy. So um, not only that, but uh, I also introduced zombies to. A friend of mine and he took it and went the distance and even did things that I didn't know you could do with the deck and so now here I am you know back in action with zombies you know trying to do my own thing now I've been this you know I've seen these zombie decks lately and I've seen people try to pilot them and it's just like they do okay things you know I see people making vampire sucker and you know um what is it, uh, you know, with, like, a Doom King, and just to get the draw on the standby phase, you know, with the Zombie World board, yeah, that's okay. Um, I've seen people put up, like, Doom King, like, put, like, very few things with a Rivalry of Warlords, and this is, like, this is not how you play zombies. Like, after all the insane combos that we've been pulling off, I'm like, I know you, I know you can do better. So, here I am, gonna show you some insane stuff going on. Now, what kind of insane stuff am I talking about? Well, if you can pull this off, if you can just get going, you're going to win 100% of the time, and here's why. You're going to hand loop your opponent for five cards, uh, Gumlar for four, and hit uh, the fifth card with uh, Cypher and Lord Omega. Um, you are also going to end on a triple Coling Trigate Wizard, a Crystal Wing, and a Doom King on the board, so you have four interruptions and your opponent has one card in hand, they are not winning that game. So in this build, if you open just a way to ritual summon, which we just got pre-prep, if you open up a way to ritual summon, you essentially have the combo. Oh wow, we open solitaire, we open, oh, and we open burial from a DD. So this, this is the, this card right here is what's going to allow you to essentially just win the duel automatically because you're going to get three of these to your hand and I will end up showing you why in a second there's a link 2 in this deck that is probably the most important link monster in the entire um, deck because that is the monster that you are going to be summoning the most to essentially dig for the rest of your burials if you didn't already have it so we're already starting with pre-preparation rights uh, you can search Vendred Slayer because the Slayer is towards the bottom of the text with Origin not a lot of people know that for some reason. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start off with our Solitaire. We're going to go ahead and Tribute off. And we're going to go Unizombie. We're going to use Unizombie's effect and we're going to go ahead and Foolish Burial... What do we want a Foolish Burial? Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and Foolish Burial a Gozuki? I think we want a Foolish Burial Gozuki. So if we do that, and, okay, okay, so, we're going to Foolish Gozuki. 
because we got plans. Like there's, what you want to essentially do is you want to be able to not only resolve your vampire sucker to draw one, but you also want to be able to, um, what's his name, you want to be able to um, have a live summon sword on top of that. So we're going to use Gozuki, we're going to banish, we're going to summon Mizuki. Now we're going to go and link it to our vampire sucker. So that that's already set up here. Uh, now we are going to go ahead and banish Mizuki, summon Gozuki. Now Vampire Sucker is going to go ahead and trigger, and we're going to go ahead and draw one card from our deck. But we've already went through the deck, so we're going to go ahead and shuffle up and draw us one. All right. So now what we got going, and we just drew another Mizuki. So we're going to use Gozuki, and we're going to foolish the last Mizuki. Now we don't need to dig any more Mizukis out of our deck. That's fantastic. Alright. Now. Well, now we're going to go ahead and start with our Ritual Summon. With the Origin, you can also banish zombie monsters from your graveyard. So we're going to tribute Gozuki. Um, and then we're going to banish Unizombie. Uh, you can exceed the levels as well. That's something to note. So we're going to summon Vendor Slayer. And we're going to make our Summon Sources. When Vendred Slayer hits the graveyard, you can add one spell card, uh, one Vendred Ritual Spell, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, you can add a Ritual Spell from your deck to your hand if you do send a Vendred from your deck to the graveyard. So that's precisely what we're going to do. Um, we're going to add Vendred Evolution, because it's Ritual Spell, and we're going to Foolish Battle Lord to the graveyard. Like so. Oh, there you go. Let's go ahead and... Oh man, I, I want to like move this over. So, so we, yeah, we can get a good look at our grave. So, alright. We got Battlelord sent to the graveyard. Now, what we're going to do is activate evolution. This one, you can ritual summon a Vendred monster from your graveyard, just like the other one. But the difference is, you can foolish another Vendred monster from your graveyard, as long as it matches the level. So, we're going to send Battlelord from deck to grave to summon Battlelord. That is how that is going to work. Now, with Battlelord, if you want to... Um, you always want to use the effect. It's like a mini Shockmaster, so you can banish a Vendred card from your grave, declare spell traps and monster effects, and your opponent cannot um, use the effects of, you know, the declared kind of card. So we're always going to call monster effects unless, if you get this far in the combo, um, I would just call trap cards, just in case your opponent has some permanence or something. So now we're going to go and resolve summon sorceress. And we are going to summon our Goblin Zombie. Alright, we're going places now. Alright, um... Now what we're going to do is we're going to banish the second Mizuki and summon out a Vampire Sucker because we want to make our Saryuja for four. Because we want to dig for more burial from a different dimensions. So that's precisely what we're going to do. So we got four, and we're going to go ahead and make Saryuja. Depending on what we get, we may have to go into, and we're probably going to have to put this back in the extra deck and go back into it. So what we're going to do is, since Goblin Zombie is a mandatory effect, it's going to be Chain Link 1, um, we're going to use Skull Dread as Chain Link 2 and Battle Lord for Chain Link 3, so we don't draw into the cards that we're going to search with Battle Lord anyway. So when Battle Lord is sent to the grave, you add... A ritual monster, and then you are going to foolish burial a a Vendred. So we're going to send Strigus to the graveyard. And then we're going to draw four and bottom deck three, and then we're going to add a zombie monster with Goblin Zombie. All right. So we got Houndhorn. Oh, we got our second burial. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, we don't necessarily need these, but. We could use the actual Ritual Summon if the situation calls for it. So we're going to go ahead and bottom deck these three, and we're going to use Goblin Zombie. And we're going to go ahead and search a, if I can find you, uh, Zombie Master. There we go. There we go. We're going places, guys. We're going places. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to have to set, you're going to need to start setting up to get to your last burial. Luckily, we already have two burial from a different dimensions, um, so you don't need to do too much looping with a certain card I'm about to show you. So.
So we're gonna go and discard and summon our Goblin Zombie. So we're gonna go ahead and start searching out our other combo pieces. The first one being Banshee to get access to our, um, oh shoot, I forgot to summon Strigus too. Um, yeah, misplay, my bad. Um, what you wanna do is the moment, the reason why we sent Strigus, cause the moment it hits the grave, cause I got sidetracked, um, the moment it's sent to grave, you can go and reveal a Vendred from your hand and special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. So we're gonna go ahead and just drop Strigus over here. So there you go. And so now Aukish, uh, I think we're gonna use Aukishik's effect to bounce the Saryuja. So we can uh, sit over here and um, go into a second Saryuja so we can thin out the deck even more. Uh, that might be the plan. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use that. We already went ahead and summoned it to the zone. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, now we're going to go ahead and use our Goblin Zombie and we're going to search our Banshee. It's important because if we need, this is the most important card in your extra deck because in order to get to these burials, you need to keep linking this off, uh, banishing Mizuki to keep summoning this under Sir Yuja so you can keep um, Diggy for that burial from a different dimension because it can only be Link summoned once per turn. It does not say that you can't special summon it more than once. And its effect to um, declare any card name and excavate uh, cards up to the uh, co link of the monster, uh, that's not once per turn either. So you want to keep spamming this and keep calling burial from a different dimension so you can get all three to your hand and essentially just win the duel from there. So we got our Banshee. Now what we're going to do. Let's ban his Armazuki to summon our uh, Zombie Master. Uh, activate the effect, and we're going to discard Banshee to summon our Goblin Zombie. Um, now we're going to go ahead and activate Banshee so we can thin out our deck. Um, during either player's turn, so it is a quick effect, you can banish it, and you can activate a Zombie World directly from the deck. So we're going to go ahead and play it here so we can go ahead and make sure you guys can see it clearly. Alright. Now we have three monsters on the board, and no other way to really summon uh, much else. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and link two up, and we're going to uh, let's say summon this proxy dragon so we can float with uh, Goblin Zombie, and we're going to search another uh, important piece to the combo. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and grab our spectral sword because we're going to need it at some point. So. We're going to go ahead and activate our first burial and put all your Mizukis back in because that's not broken at all, is it? And we're going to immediately banish one for our Zombie Master. We're going to go ahead and speed this up. Uh, discard our Spectral Sword for Goblin Zombie. There we go. Now we have four. Now we can go ahead and start just banish because it left the field. Like all four. And we're going to make Sir Yuja once again. Now we're going to activate the effect. If we get into our third burial off this Saryuja, uh, we're golden. That's all we need. Um, but Zombie is still going to be Chain Lake 1 nonetheless. Chain Lake 2 is going to be Saryuja. So we're going to draw 4. We're going to keep the Solitaire because we need it. And we're going to keep the Core because we need it. Um, we don't need these. <sighs> I do want to be able to Ritual. So well, I can actually search Slayer at any time with Goblin Zombie. So, uh, then again, Solitaire's at three. All right, I decided on keeping the Slayer. All right, so now we're gonna use, oh, wait, Goblin Zombies is gonna search it out anyway, so why not? Um, we need to get access to Doom King. We need to find a way to get Doom King into the, to the uh, graveyard as well. That's going to be something that is going to need to happen at some point as well. Uh, we already used our Gozuki, so that's not gonna happen there. But we have other ways. So now what we're going to do is now we're going to activate Akashic Magician's effect. And since um, it's co-linked up to a Link 4, we're going to call Burial from a different dimension. And we're going to reveal four cards. If we hit Burial, we add it to the hand. And we just hit it. So we have them all. All right, so the rest go to the graveyard. We still need to get that Doom King, though. We still need to put that Doom King on the board. Um, we need to get it. Uh, access to it somehow, so we might need to resort to using Akashic Magician's effect multiple times. Um, okay, so if I'm looping it, I'm just gonna call Foolish Burial. 
And if I get Doom King, it's going to the grave anyway. So now, um, with this aside, now we're going to start um, setting up our synchro plays. So we're going to go Mizuki. And we're going to go Zombie Master from the graveyard. Uh, activate. Uh, discard um, Solitaire. Or Goblin Zombie. Alright. Uh, go ahead and we're going to link up. Mm. Alright. Alright, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and link up into a Namir Phoenix over here. Uh, we should be good to go there. Now, we're going to, I think we're just going to go and set up Omega early. So we're going to activate um, uh, Origin. Origin is not once per turn. So in this situation, normally I would use Sutton Doji's effect, but this situation you want to specifically banish Solitaire and Spectral Sword to summon your Slayer. So uh, Solitaire can get its effect. When it's banished, you can target a um, banish Shiranui and special summon it. So we now have our Cypher Mode Omega play. Alright, so now that we've summoned our Omega, we can go ahead and immediately banish it and rip our first card from our opponent's hand. Following along. Alright, good, good. Next, banish our Mizuki for... Hmm. Let's see, do I want to summon... Um, actually, I want to set my Crystal play, uh, Crystal Wing play early as well. And I need more searches, so we're going to go ahead and Synchro up into Starter's Charge Warrior, Goblin Zombies Mandatory, Chain Link 1. Chain Link 2 will be the Charge Warrior, and we're going to go and draw. And we just got into our Doom King. Okay, so we're all set. We are all good. We are good to go. Um, we don't have to worry about anything else, but we do need to get more cards in our hand for our Gumblar play. So that's precisely where we're going to... Ooh, hold on, hold on. Make sure, okay, all of them are banished. So we're going to go and activate uh, Burial. So I'm going to be using Goblins on me a lot. So with that said, we are going to go Banish. For... Um, we don't want to just Banish Respectful Sword now. We want to get more um, pieces. We want to get more to the grave. So we're going to activate, and we're going to discard this Doom King, and we're going to summon Spectral Sword that way. We just need the extra body. Alright. Now we got our uh, Crystal Wing. That's all set. Now we can go ahead and uh, banish Mizuki for Goblin Zombie. And we can also, let's see, do I want to summon Gummar now? I think I do. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and banish our Mizuki for a Link 3. Yeah, we're going to do it for a Link 3 so we can have... Um, <clears throat> what we want to do now is we want to get uh, easy... Ooh. Okay. Um, slight error here. We're going to go ahead... And since we um, summoned this in the wrong zone, we're going to go and summon Sucker. And we're going to link off Crystal Wing and Friends. And we are going to summon our Gumblar Dragon early. Now we're going to use Goblin Zombie's effect. And we are going to search us. Um, uh, we'll search the Shut and Doji now. It doesn't really matter. But we do, I think we do want to kind of get it. Now we didn't use Suryu's second effect to special summon either. So, um... Let's go ahead and get that out the way real quick. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in our extra deck? We have a Cerberus, a Griffin, a Unicorn, and a Trigate. We still want more cards in our hand, which is, um, yeah, we this is what we really want. We want more cards in hand to work with. So we're going to go ahead and special our Sutton Doji with our Saryuja. Then we're gonna use Sutton Doji. You can banish two Vinny Zombies from Grave and draw a card. Everything in the grave is a zombie, so it really does not matter. So let's go ahead and banish Battlelord and Gozuki, and we're going to draw a card. Okay, so we got Evolution, we got an extra card in our hand. Alright, that's that's fantastic, that's good. Alright, 
And we have how many more Mizukis in the grave? We don't have any. That's perfect. So now, what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and link into a Nightmare Cerberus. That's going to trigger Gumblar's effect to Chain Link 1. Chain Link 2, you're going to activate this burial from a different dimension. Uh, so it doesn't get ripped from your hand, and you're going to go ahead and foolish uh, all three Mizukis back into the graveyard. Wait, where's the other Mizuki? Did I not use it? Oh man, I don't think I used it. If that's the case, hold on. Where is that last Mizuki? It's somewhere. Holy. Where'd it go? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Where's the Mizuki? Okay, it is here. So, I did it right. So, chain of two. And hold on, driver, driver, driver. Alright guys, we're back. So, anyway, as we were resuming, we are going to go ahead and dump these bazookies to the graveyard. Right? Now what's left in our extra deck is a griff, uh, unicorn, and some other things. So we go chain link two, and we're going to dump these, and we're going to go gumblar, and discard two, making our opponent discard two more cards. That is three cards right off the bat. So. When you get towards the end of the combo, you want to save one Mizuki for your Crystal Wing. That is extremely important. So, what we're going to do is banish Mizuki for Goblin Zombie. Since Gumblar has already used his effect, that is A-OK. -okay. And we're going to use the second Mizuki to summon Shut and Doji. Because we want to get two more cards to our hand. Um, so we can Gumblar our opponent some more. So we're going to use Shut and Doji. That effect is also not a hard one per turn. Banishing two zombies from your graveyard to draw one card. Uh, let's go ahead and banish... Let's banish Summon Soaker Proxy Dragon. And again, because Zombie was on the board, you... Everything is a zombie from field and grave. So we're going to go and draw a card. And we're going to finish up our Co Links with our Trigate Wizard. Use the effect of Goblin Zombie. And we're going to add a... Ooh, well, Bloom's a tuner, so... Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and just add the last solitaire. Alright, so we now have what we need. We now have the extra two cards to rip from our opponent's hand. Now you're going to use that last Mizuki to summon Crystal Wing. This is why you want to save the last Mizuki. For Crystal Wing, you want to get it away from Gumbar's zone. Just like that. And with this, you are going to pass turn... Standby phase, the effect of your Doom King is going to activate, summoning to the Gumblar and using the effect of Gumblar during the standby phase to discard two and rip two more cards from your opponent's hand. So you've officially ripped five cards from your opponent's hand, Crystal Wing negate, uh, a negate off Doom King, a banish off Doom King, and you have a Trigate. This is how you win 100% of the time. If you are if you start getting going with zombies, and then this especially works if your opponent already hand trapped you in the process. So your opponent's having no hand. Even if your um, even if your deck has graveyard synergy, uh, Doom King just messes all that up. Doom King messes it up. Um, the fact that they're all zombies can mess that up too. Um, there's just so many things that this deck has going for it that. This is what you should be doing. This is how you play zombies properly, right here. So, I want to know you guys' thoughts on this. Um, if there's anything even more broken that zombies can do, let me know. And I'll make a video on it. But this is just the Vendred um, variant. There is a Danger variant. There is, um, you know, that doesn't, you know, there's, there's all kind of variants out there. But even if we did not open that pre-prep, we still would have been fine because uh, if you just open a spell, if you open just a regular, like any ritual spell, you can then use your foolish burial cards to foolish your rituals because all of your vendor rituals can ritual summon your vendor from the graveyard. And that is absolutely fantastic. So, you know what? Let me know what you guys think about zombies in the future. The uh, place that they could hold the meta. Again, um, the only reason zombies aren't as good as they are is because, one, they don't have the representation. Two, again, I've seen a lot of people try to play this deck, and I feel like they just don't know how to play it properly. And so, hopefully, this is a good guide 
as to what you need to strive for when you are playing zombie link variants and friends so thank you guys very much for watching this is jay money and i am signing out